A very good evening, and on behalf of everyone at Longridge High School, a warm welcome to our virtual open evening. I'm Mrs Green, the head teacher, and this evening I'm joined on stage by our school senior leadership team, Mrs Gibson and Mr Sutcliffe, our deputy head teachers. Also in the room this evening, Miss Mason and Mrs Flynn, our assistant head teachers, who will be taking your questions during the course of the evening, which we will endeavour to answer towards the end of the evening. Um, also with us, we have our senior pastoral leader, Mrs Rogers, who you'll hear from later on, and also our SENCO, Mr Elder. We also have our Chair of Governors, Mrs Compton. So we're all here this evening to talk to you and to answer your questions about life at Longridge High School. So I'll start off by saying this is a very different experience for us all. Normally, we would be welcoming you into our school. We'd have lots of excited pupils keen to show you around, classrooms which we set up with lessons for you to watch. But of course, unfortunately, this year, that's not possible. So we looked at putting a film on our website and then someone came up with a bright idea of having a live stream on the night with film footage taken around school shown in between us talking to you. So we are live with you. I'll just check the time. It is, I think, two minutes past six. Um, and we're all hoping that you will email in questions which we'll answer later this evening. The technology is set up and ready to go. What could possibly go wrong? Um, so before we begin, we'll just show you a short clip of what you can expect this evening. Thank you. are really helpful and funny and I am enjoying all of my subjects. School pushes you to be your very best. You can be and achieve what you want. I love Longridge High School and I wouldn't be who I am today anywhere else. If you look at our key indicators, we are above average and we're very proud of that fact. I'm very thankful for Longridge for helping me achieve my goals. Bienvenue à Longridge et je vous attends en 2021. I've loved every minute here and I hope you will too. Okay, so I hope that's given you a flavour of what to expect over the next 40 minutes or so. We always really enjoy open evenings at school because we love our school and we're very proud of our pupils who are great ambassadors for us. The film footage you will see takes you into some of our lessons and subjects so you can hear from staff and there are also interviews with Year 7 and Year 11 pupils who will give you their views on the school. So again, please forgive in advance any mistakes we might make this evening as we weave everything together. Um, we'll be trying our best as a team to give you a flavour of and a feel for our school. So normally at this point, and if you've been to our open news before, you'd know that I'd be asking for audience participation. And I'd be asking for anybody who's nervous about their son or daughter starting high school to put their hands up. So if you want to do that at home, feel free to do so. Um, I'd also be asking you what you're looking for in a school. I think you'd say you want your child to be safe, to be happy and to achieve the very best they can academically and in all other areas of school life. You would probably say you wanted them to develop as responsible, fully rounded young people. We believe our school offers this for all our pupils. We want them to enjoy school, because school should be a fantastic experience, and that's what we aim to give. We are ambitious for all our young people, and we strive for excellence in everything we do. Our pupils will tell you they feel happy, they feel safe, they feel supported, and they feel challenged to achieve the very best they can. We want them to relish their learning. We want them to join one or more of the many clubs which run at lunch times or after school. We want them to make great friends. We want them to get great GCSE results. We want them to look back after five years and say, I really enjoyed my time at Longridge High School and I excelled there. And we want you as parents and carers to say, Longridge High School worked in partnership with us as a family 
to ensure the very best for our child, and that's what we want to achieve. OK, so on to some practical details. Um, about the school, we are a local authority high school. Um, we take 165 children in each year group, and once again this year I'm really pleased to say that we were full in Year 7. We feel as a staff that the size of the school is perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's small enough that staff can really, really get to know pupils and their families. Um, but it's big enough for us to be able to offer a wide and varied range of subjects. Whether your child is travelling three miles or simply walking from Stonebridge, they are all part of our school community and we truly, truly believe that. So I'm now going to pass over to Mr Sutcliffe, Deputy Head Teacher, Pupil Development. Hi. Our school is based on a real sense of community. The values that strengthen this community are as follows. Working together to create a warm and caring environment. Wearing your school uniform with pride. Being punctual and keen to learn. Always behaving in a respectful manner. Showing excellence in any work you produce always been willing to help others. We as a school always praise and reward such characteristics. We do this through messages home, reward points, blazer stars and reward activities. We pride ourselves at Longridge High School on really knowing every pupil and their families and being able to nurture and develop our pupils into successful young adults. Thank you. OK, we're now going to, uh, to move to the first, uh, first one of our films this evening. And this is going to uh, delve into the maths and English departments. And also we're going to hear some of the views of our young people. So please enjoy. Good evening and welcome to our very special limited edition open evening. Hello, I'm Mrs Flynn. I'm Head of English and Assistant Head Teacher here at Longridge. And um, in English, we love that we give the students the opportunity to empower themselves with a voice in society and that we also allow them to communicate and express their feelings effectively. As well as that, we love that we can instill a love of literature with them as well as making learning fun for them in the classroom. So when you join us in Year 7, you'll see lots of exciting things such as um, a scheme of work that's based upon the Titanic. We'll also take you on a coach trip where you'll sample lots of different countries um, in Europe as well as doing some wild and wonderful poetry and then as you move into key stage four we do give you the opportunity to sample one of your set texts in year nine a christmas carol however we study it just as a text so you can enjoy it then as you move into key stage four we start introducing it and inspector calls matt Beth, some poems from an anthology all in preparation for your gcse's we do do things such as Lancashire Book of the Year, the Big Book Quiz, and we do run theatre trips. Hopefully by September, these things will be up and running as normal. Hello, uh, I'm James Moore. I'm Deputy Head Boy at Longridge High. School pushes you to be your very best, uh, which is very good as you can be and achieve what you want. I like to take part in extracurricular activities such as basketball and football. There are lots of trips within school as well, such as the end of year Blackpool, Blackpool trip, which is very fun, as you can go with all your mates. And as well, lots of English trips, such as Macbeth, where you go to watch a performance. I also enjoy playing as a group, as I like to play guitar and performing in front of school. Hello, my name is Mrs Mason and as well as being one of the English teachers here at Longridge High School, I am also the lead teacher for Accelerated Reader. All our pupils in years 7 and 8 take part in the Accelerated Reader programme. The Accelerated Reader programme allows all our pupils to choose the book they would like to read at the correct level for them. But how do we determine that level? That level is determined by taking a star reading quiz at the beginning of the academic year. This quiz gives our pupils a reading range that they can use in our school library to help them choose a book that is at the correct level for them. Accelerated Reader has become very popular at Longridge High School. It is popular because it encourages independent reading and also a reading for pleasure, which we feel is the most important part about reading. I am Alison Sawley, a former student of Longridge CV Primary and now a member in 7D. 
My older brother Alex used to go here and my, uh, my sister Amelia is in year nine. I, my favourite subject is maths with Miss Webster. I like the dining room and I like the choice of having lunch at break times. Um, I have free fish and when I'm older I would like to be a vet as I love taking care of animals. Hi, I'm Miss Graves. I'm the head of maths here at Longridge High School. I've been here for three years, so I'm currently starting my fourth year. And each year, I'm glad to say the results have improved. If you look at our key indicators for each of the different measures, the four plus, the five plus, and compare them against the national average and the Lancashire average, we are above average and we're very proud of that fact. In the maths department, we have six full-time members of staff. Each person is a maths specialist. We have all the rooms suited together. Each room is a very similar layout. We have an interactive whiteboard, access to mini whiteboards, visualizers, all the tools that we need to make our lessons more interesting and to make sure that we can support your child. When your child arrives with us in year seven, we feel that it's really important for us to get to know them. We want to ease that transition process from primary to secondary school. So they will be placed into a maths class, but they might not stay there. What we like to do is to get to know the students, make sure that there's no hangover from the summer, make sure that they're confident and happy in their surroundings. Then towards the end of the first half term, we'll give them a baseline test. Along with this baseline test, we'll look at all the data from primary schools and we'll decide the best place for your child, which class they need to be in and which scheme of work they need to follow. We follow a five year scheme of work. So that means that every year builds on from the previous one. So there'll be a little bit of time to recap and then we'll extend that knowledge even further. We follow the Edexcel scheme of work. So we sit the Edexcel GCSE at the end of year 11 and our students are put in roughly 50-50, higher or foundation. I hope you enjoyed that and it's really good to hear the views of young people as well. If you have any questions as we're going through the evening, please email the questions in. Uh, as I say, our, our assistant heads are, are on hand taking your questions at the moment for us to answer later on. Okay, so just some more details about the school. Uh, we are a non-selective Lancashire County Council High School, which means that our intake is from across the ability range. And we work with each young person from their starting point to ensure they achieve the very best outcomes during their time at Longridge High School. Excellent GCSE results in 2020 reflect the hard work and commitment of staff, pupils, and their families working together. We are continually improving in terms of GCSE. This year, we achieved outstanding results in many departments. And as you can see, English and maths results are very strong. The school's GCSE attainment is above average and progress is very good. Many pupils achieve top grades across a range of subjects. We are a school which doesn't tolerate complacency, either in ourselves or in our pupils. Hence, our attainment and progress are continually improving because we instill in all our pupils self-belief and the ambition and desire to achieve the very best they can through working hard and giving their all. So it's time now to, to have a look at the art department and the DT department and again to hear from some more of our young people. Thank you. Hi, I'm Olivia Soper and I'm Deputy Head Girl at Longridge High School. I came from a school called Longsands and choosing Longridge as my first choice was the best decision I could have made. I feel like I've been fully involved in my passion of the performing arts and this has allowed me to reach my full potential. I have been able to get involved due to the wide range of extracurricular activities. This is one of the many things I love about Longridge High as there's something for everyone. I have loved every minute here and I hope you will too. Hello, welcome to Design Technology, Mr Scott. Uh, as you can see we're in the uh, woodwork room, we're doing design technology, so we do lots of product design in here. As you can see we've got some year 10 students working, uh, doing a baseline test, so they're just starting off their journey and uh, lots of practical skills, that's what we try and do within this environment. During Key Stage 3, pupils will visit four different areas um, in their time in technology. So they will move around from food, to timbers, to textiles, and then to graphics and systems. 
Within Timbers, you'll learn how to use things like saws and the sanding machine, and you will learn lots of different skills, and you will, you will make something that you can take away at the end. We come in here, we have two periods a week, um, doing practical based, design based, lots of problem solving and thinking skills. We have a laser cutter, we have 3D printers within the department, we have a CAD suite. You'll then move on to textiles and within that again you will get to use a sewing machine, you'll learn how to print fabric and you will make that into a small bag. Again, something that you can take away with you afterwards. During your graphics module, you will learn how to use computer-aided design to create a travel board game. And in food and nutrition, you will learn some, some really important life skills, cooking skills, and you will create a broad range of recipes from pasta salad to um, ragu sauce um, to small cakes and so on. All the things we do in Key Stage 3 really are coming through. All the knowledge and all the learning that we do, the theory, leads us really well into our new courses for our GCSE as well. If you decide that design technology, this practical, inviting subject, is something for you, we offer GCSEs in food and nutrition and in design technology, which allows you to specialise in one of the following areas, timbers, textiles or systems. We look forward to welcoming you in September and we look forward to getting you into these practical environments and seeing what making skills you can show off and what you can do. Hi, I am Max Gallagher. Uh, former pupil of Barnaker Road Primary School. My younger sister still goes there. In year five, I went to the STEM Technology Day. It, it was really fun. I like doing practical activities such as art, design and technology. The reason why I chose to come to language is because what, from what I've seen from the tours, it's been amazing. I saw that there would be lots of new opportunities and it looked amazing. Hi, I'm Heather and we are Year 11 GCC Art students at Longwood High School. Um, we are working on personal projects and I'm doing identity. I have loved art at Longridge High School since Year 7, um, as Longridge has a lot of resources, so whatever you're interested in, Longridge can provide for. Um, we do different projects each year, and we experiment with different medias, and we have a wide, a wide range of resources at Longridge, so whatever you're interested in, you can do. We have acrylic paints, which is uh, only at high school. We have clay, we have a kiln in there, so you can do clay work. Um, we also work with wire, uh, which is really good. Um, it is good trying new things. In Year 7, we studied Vincent van Gogh and we did a sample piece of his work, which is very interesting. The students behind me are doing their personal projects. So in Year 11, if you talk to UCSE Art, you'd be able to do a project on whatever you're interested in, which is really good. I chose to do art because it's something I'm really interested in and at Longwood we have a great course. Um, we have a lot of resources that if you're interested in, we can use and um, we have very supportive members of our staff here. I'll now pass over to Mrs Gibson, Deputy Head Teacher, Quality of Education. Thank you. Good evening. Hi, I'm Mrs Gibson, the Deputy Head Teacher in charge of teaching and learning here at Longridge High School. In key, stage, in key Stage 3, we provide a broad and balanced curriculum that ensures that all our pupils receive their full entitlement to the national curriculum. As well as covering the core subjects of English, Maths and Science, pupils enjoy many other subjects, such as French, German, Design Technology, Drama, Food Technology and Music. As pupils arrive in Year 7, we have mixed ability teaching groups for the first half term. This is so we can get to know your child as an individual, rather than a Key Stage 2 score. Our curriculum is organised so that baseline testing is part of the normal lesson, with only a few subjects taking a more formal approach to testing. These include a reading and spelling test in English and common assessments in maths and science. We aim to have a full picture of your child's strengths and areas development by the middle of October. Once we have this picture, along with the numerical data, we are able to group pupils by their abilities. All our curriculum plans are challenging and engaging, and are developed to stretch and support all our pupils. 
All ability groups follow the same scheme of work and this work is adapted and scaffolded to meet the needs of all our learners. We retain mixed ability groups in a number of areas through Key Stage 3 and these include design technology and PE. We are fortunate that our school timetable is able to allow for separate setting of the core subjects at Key Stage 3 and this means that your child is always in the correct group for his or her ability and no compromises are needed. Our teachers are all subject specialists and we are all qualified as secondary school teachers. We have a rainbow of experience within our staff, just as it should be, from those with a few months or years of experience who bring with them dynamism and innovation to the classroom and to the school in general, to those who are slightly older, who have a depth and breadth of knowledge and experience, who are able to share this knowledge and develop others in the school. We all learn from each other, which is just as it should be. Although you might not be thinking about GCSEs just yet, it is important to know that the pathways and options our pupils are able to consider as they approach the end of Year 9. We follow a two-year Key Stage 4 pattern, and all pupils take the compulsory subjects of English, Literature, Maths and Science, either combined or triple. They also study compulsory non-exam, RE and PE. We offer a range of subjects as options that meet the needs of all our learners and all possible destinations that include further study to A-level and universities, vocational courses and apprenticeships. And these subjects include hospitality and catering, drama, health and social care, computer science, creative eye media and enterprise and marketing as well as more traditional subjects such as modern foreign languages, history and geography. Finally, homework. Not the most popular topics for pupils, you will agree, but it is an integral part of the school curriculum and it encourages independent learning, resilience, organisation, time management and self-motivation. And all of these skills are needed as our pupils progress into Key Stage 4 and beyond. We use online platforms to set homework and pupils can message staff if they have any questions or if they need extra support. We also attach resources and this way it makes the old excuse that we used to use of I've lost the sheet totally redundant. A homework timetable is shared with the pupils and parents and this allows for work to be completed throughout the week. Our website has full details of all our curriculum plans our timetable allocations for each key stage, as well as lots of other useful information. Please have a look. I look forward to answering any of your questions later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we'll go and see some more teaching and learning in action, and we'll visit Geography, Languages, Learning Support, Science, and we'll hear from some more of our pupils. I'm Mrs Place and I am Head of Geography at Longridge High School. Geography is a day in everyday life. The subject itself evolves which makes it all the more exciting. We want our pupils to ask lots of questions about the past, the present but also about what's coming next. As our pupils study geography they encounter different places and perspectives. It inspires them to think about their rights, their values and also their responsibilities. So here at Longridge in Year 7 you'll study geography for two hours per week. At GCSE it's three hours per week. This is an incredibly exciting subject and very popular at GCSE. At GCSE we are a high performing subject with excellent GCSE results and we are always oversubscribed for options. Geography at Longridge High School is a multidiscipline subject that builds an all-round solid learner, fostering skills of independence, teamwork, leadership and decision-making skills. Hi, I'm Alicia Gilder, a former pupil of the Blessed Sacrament Primary School in Riverton Preston. I chose a school as my older brother's a pupil here and he really likes it. I love practical subjects and he has told me all about the great lessons in food and design technology. 
I have already had a couple of lessons of DT with Mr Scott and I know that I'm going to enjoy it. In my spare time, I love baking, playing football with my brother Jack, or looking after my little sister Ava. I'm looking forward to getting involved in drama products and clubs as I like to act and perform. Many of, I've made lots of friends here, even though many of my primary friends have chose different schools to me. Hello, my name's Mr. Connell, and I'm head of languages at Longridge High School. We teach two languages, French and German. In year seven, all the children do French. In year eight and nine, it changes a little bit. Year eight, set one, do French and German, two lessons of French and one of German. Sets two and three, only do French. At the end of year nine, we normally have options which lead to year 10 and 11, key stage four. In key stage four, you can opt to do French, German, or both. The pupils do three lessons of French or German, their chosen subject per week, leading to an exam. The exam they do is called AQA, GCSE, French or German. There are four parts to the exam, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Each part is worth 25%. Four times 25% gives you the final grade of 100%. If you have any questions or anything's unclear, please feel free to contact me at school. Bienvenue à Longridge et je vous attends en 2021. Hi, my name's George Ostwick and I went to a primary school in Ribchester. After my four years at Longridge High School, I thoroughly enjoyed being part of school life. From the informative and interesting lessons to the extensive list of extracurricular activities, I've never run out of something to do. My favourite part of Longridge is being part of such a tightly knitted social group and meeting lots of new students and peers. My favourite moment from Longridge is being part of the school concerts playing electric guitar in the rock band. I'm very thankful for Longridge for helping me achieve my goals and I'm very excited to move on to a higher level education thanks to Longridge. Hello, my name is Mr Elder and I'm Head of Learning Support here at Longridge. I'm the Special Educational Needs Coordinator and it is my job to work with your teachers and our team of teaching assistants to support you in your learning. If you need extra support, and not everyone will, but some of you will, this is where you might get it. This is our learning support base, and in here we offer a range of interventions and support measures. My name is Mr Smith. I'm the newly appointed Head of Science here at Longridge High. We have um, a team of highly experienced teachers from each of the specialisms, biology, chemistry and physics specialists, um, they all enthusiastic and passionate about their subjects um, and their number one priority is to make sure your pupils attain the very best. When your child joins us in year seven, uh, they'll be having three lessons of science every week, normally usually by the same science teacher. Um, and during that year, they will cover biology, chemistry and physics topics. So cells, particles, forces. Um, so a bit of a, a sample of all of, the, uh, all of the different specialisms in science. In year eight and year nine, they increase by lesson a week. Um, and the same format carries on. You do biology, chemistry, and physics with that one teacher. Um, as we get into year 10 and 11, uh, we start to specialise a bit more then in terms of our separate specialisms. Um, at Key Stage 4, we do the AQA GCSE scheme. The majority of our pupils will do combined uh, science. So they'll have a couple of lessons on biology, chemistry, and physics every week. And those results are combined at the end of the year. Uh, there is the option for the, the trilogy, for the, the, the separate science option. Uh, where the pupils that are show an aptitude for science and a passion for science can be put onto that course, um, where they have um, slightly more, slightly more time, um, where they get three GCSEs, a bit more in depth and a bit more, a bit more um, detail. The format of all the lessons, well, key stage three or key stage four, we try and learn by doing. So there'll be lots of activities, there'll be um, experiments, investigations to try and prove our, our theories, um, and so we'll, it's hopefully hands-on lessons. Uh, when we get to GCSE, to Key Stage 4, some of the practicals are uh, more in-depth. They have required practicals where they are slightly more, um, sl slightly more involved and there's intensive support and intervention uh, for the required practicals and for every aspect of our GCSE course. 
to us, all the team in the science department, um, science is more than a subject. Um, it's, uh, it's a passion, it's an interest. Um, it needs to be excited. It's a way of explaining all the unanswered questions in the universe. Um, it's a great way of approaching the world and approaching the, the, the future. Okay, I'm going to pass back over to Mr Suckley. Our pastoral care and support is a real strength of the school and has always been rated highly in Ofsted inspections. Ensuring your child is happy and safe whilst in our care is of the utmost importance to all our staff. We have always been aware of the care and support needed to ensure the mental health and well-being of both our staff and pupils, but this is a huge focus of ours at this present time. We have a number of events across the year to raise awareness of mental health and well-being. Assemblies are aimed at educating our pupils about how to look after their own mental health and we have recently joined a project with Lancashire Mind to enhance pupil wellbeing across the school. Our five heads of year are extremely dedicated and experienced. They specialise within specific age groups, meaning that they are aware and experienced in leading pupils through important events throughout the school year. They each lead a team of six form tutors. Here at Longridge High School, our form tutors take the form all the way through from year 7 to 11, meaning that they strike up that unique relationship with the pupils in their forms and would always be the first port of call as parents. In addition, we have a number of support staff who work alongside the head of years and form tutors to offer mentoring, counselling, reparation work and to act as a link between school and home. Our Year 6 Transition Programme. We offer a wide range of events designed to help primary school pupils and their parents make an informed choice about us as a school. Our primary programme enables pupils to come into our school and experience lessons in specialised classrooms taught by specialised teachers. They get to meet teachers and ask questions and enjoy a day in the life of a high school student. Our staff will always visit primary schools to offer lessons and Mrs Jackson, Head of Year 7, gets out to meet all pupils who have accepted a place with us in the summer term before they start in September. The aim of this is not, not only for you and your child to be able to make your decision, but will also allow your child to get a feel for the school and ease the transition from primary to secondary school, as they feel more familiar with the surroundings and the everyday workings of a high school setting. So we're now going to, to go into music, drama and PE and have some final words from, from some of our pupils. If you have got any questions, please can you email them in during this video uh, because we'd like to collate with to them at the end. So thank you for that. Hi, I'm Mr Kershaw, I'm the Head of Music here at Longridge High School. Uh, we do many different things in Year 7. Uh, we start off talking about musical elements, uh, a little bit of keyboard work, working through some basic music theory so that you understand notation. Moving into Year 8, uh, we continue with keyboard work, but we also start to do a lot of work on guitars, ukuleles, bass guitar um, and drum kit. And then into Year 9, we start thinking about film music, uh, using the computers a little bit more with our sequencing software Cubase. At Key Stage 4, in Year 10 and 11, we follow the AQA GCSE music programme, which has three units. Number one, understanding music, two, performing music, and three, composing music. In the extracurricular programme, uh, we have many things going on. So Rock School, which is guitar, bass, and drums. Uh, the school band, which is brass and woodwind instruments. The school choir. And the school a cappella group, which is a bit like Pitch Perfect, but not quite as silly. Uh, we also have many instrumental teachers visiting, so you can learn to play a brass instrument, a woodwind instrument, a guitar, bass guitar, drum kit, keyboard or singing. And we hope to see you here at Longridge High School very soon. Hi, I'm Jake Richardson, a, me a member of 7G here at Longridge High School. I used to attend Whitechapel Primary School. I am the second person to ever come to Longridge High School in my family. My dad is a former pupil. I have a Boston Terrier called Maisie and I enjoy taking her to dog agility classes. I also like cross country. The teachers are really helpful and funny and I am enjoying all of my subjects. In, we are lear currently learning about the history of toilets in year seven. You may think this is boring, but it's actually not. 
This is because of our teacher. She is amazing. Mrs. Jackson brings it to life. Mrs Handley and I teach drama and English here at Longbridge High School. We teach drama at Key Stage 4 for GCSE and we also have drama within English at Key Stage 3. We have lots of different drama clubs um, which are really fun and everyone gets involved and usually some 10 and 11s help out with that as well and everyone is welcome to, to do drama here at Longbridge. And also in the past you may have seen, you may, may have been before, we've done lots of different plays for the whole community Community. So we've done Beauty and the Beast most recently last year. We've also done Bugsy Malone, we've done Grease, we've done The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, we've done Joseph and we've got loads more to come. So if you're really interested in drama, this is the place to come to. Drama is such an important subject to take. Um, even just doing it at Key Stage 3, it builds your confidence up. You know, it, it's better for when you get job interviews, when you're older. It's really, really a useful subject to take. So even if you're not into the performing side of things, we do look at other things as well. We look at sound, we look at lighting, we look at staging, we look at sets, we look at um, costume design. So we look at everything at drama and it's so useful to help build your confidence for the future. Hi, I'm Heather Taylor Harling and I'm head girl at Longridge High School. When I first joined Longridge, I wasn't very confident, but with the help from teachers and older pupils, I grew into the young woman I am today. Longridge has really helped me academically and opened up lots of opportunities for me, and it's given me the chance to go to Clitheroe Grammar Sixth Form. Longridge is a place I've always felt comfortable, and I'm very grateful for Longridge for giving me the opportunities I've been given. I love Longridge High School, and I wouldn't be who I am today anywhere else. I'm Mr Wright and I'm the head of PE here at Longridge. At Longridge we have four different facilities for PE. We have the sports hall, we have the main hall, we have the full-size raster surf pitch and we have the dance studio. We offer a range of extracurricular activities uh, after school, at lunchtime, before school that include all the sports you can think of. Football, netball, basketball, cricket, athletics, table tennis, badminton and others. We have very successful history of winning district and county competitions, in particular in netball, in football and in basketball. In Year 7 we follow the national curriculum, which includes individual activities such as table tennis and badminton and athletics, team activities including football, netball, basketball and cricket, outdoor and adventurous activities including orienteering and dance. As you progress through the school and you go to Key Stage 4, we offer GCSE PE and we are very proud of our excellent results over the last three or four years. We can't wait to welcome you to Longridge High School and help you develop your technical and physical skills over the five years that you're with us. Thank you for taking the time out of your evening to watch the opening evening videos. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy your evening. And if you have any questions, please let us know. I'll now pass over to Mrs Rogers, our Senior Pastoral Leader. At Longridge High School, we pride ourselves on not only being successful in the classroom, but outside of it too. As you'll see over the course of the next couple of slides, we offer a wide range of sports teams, music clubs, drama groups, and arts, craft and technology events, to name a few, that allows our pupils to showcase their talents, represent the school and further develop their interests in activities away from their academic studies. We run a number of residential trips. We've taken our pupils skiing in Austria, to sports tours and water sports trips to Spain, outdoor education in the Lake District and Munich with the MFL department being amongst some of the most popular. We also offer the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award to our upper school pupils, which is great for developing teamwork, resilience and perseverance. These are in addition to a number of educational trips that departments use alongside their curriculum to enhance pupils' understanding of any particular topics that are being studied at that time. We also have our house system that was relaunched a couple of years ago, where pupils from across all year groups are allocated a house. 
Fursnake, Parlick and Beacon being the names of local landmarks, but also the names of our houses. Throughout the year, we will run a number of events that are hugely popular with our students and offers that healthy element of competition across the school. But it also gives our pupils a, an opportunity to be united in one common aim, being successful for their house. Full top participation is encouraged and we link this to our reward system where pupils can gain points for representing their house in any of the events that are on offer. Thank you. Um, I hope that's given you a really good flavour of, of, the, of, of life at Longish High School. Uh, we are very well served and we're very well supported by an excellent governing body, many of whom are parent governors. So Mrs Compton, I would just like to give you her views on the school. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs Green. I'm Claire Compton. I'm Chair of Governors here at Longridge High School. Our role of Governors is to hold Mrs Green and the senior leadership team here to account. We chose Longridge High School. Um, we have three boys here and we chose it because the children have been through um, Longridge High School in years five and six. They've been to maths um, competitions, that sort of thing. Um, and we knew that the school was safe and had a very caring attitude. Um, for, and we had a wide range of opportunities. Uh, one of my boys has already moved on to study A-levels at Cardinal Newman after doing very well here at this school. For all three of my boys, their differing needs are well met, whilst most importantly they have felt safe and they've been very, made a lot of very good friends here and they've been happy at the school. They're developing into confident and curious young men. They've taken advantage of lots of the opportunities that have already been mentioned. They've been on Duke of Edinburgh, they've been on the water sports trips, they've even done extracurricular German classes after school. Um, Governor's staff and myself are very ambitious for the school and for, it, for our pupils. Governors will contribute, um, sorry, will continue to work with the school to improve and we'll recruit two new parent governors to help us do that in the spring term. Finally, from me, we'll remain open and transparent and ambitious um, for our children and our community. Your child will receive a warm and welcome here and appropriate challenge at Longridge High. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to say before we start answering questions that we would all say and agree it's a privilege to work with our young people um, and I hope you've got a, a, really good, a really good picture of how fantastic they are from the films you saw and the interviews that they've done on film and it's also a privilege for all of us to work with staff who are so passionate in their ambition for these young people so we really do hope that you decide Longish High School is the school for your child and we do look forward to seeing you soon. Um, I'll say thanks to people now because we're going to answer questions that I may forget at the end. So I would like to thank everybody who was involved. To any of the young people who are watching this tonight who were, who were actually filmed, well done. You're absolutely fantastic. And I know that some of the staff are watching themselves and they haven't seen this yet. So to staff who are watching this, you are amazing. Thank you very much to everybody who was involved, particularly to the young people. If you're watching with your families, you're a credit to your families and we're really, really proud of you. So well done. Um, I'd also like to, to thank the man behind the camera who you can't see at the moment. That's Mr. Graham Kay, who's put all this together, who's been very patient with us. We've been very nervous about this. It's very to say this evening uh, and, he, and, he, and he's guided us through this and he's done the films for us and put all this together so a massive thank you to Mr Graham Kay. Right we do have some questions okay so uh, I'm going to direct them to the people I think are most appropriate to answer. I'll put my glasses on to read these. Okay so our first question. Um, my child has lots of friends at their primary school. Will they be kept together or separated? I think that's a question for you Mr Sutcliffe. Uh, yeah, so when um, your son and daughter comes to Longridge High School, they'll be, initially they'll be in form groups. Um, how do we decide what form group they're in? Well, the first thing is we, we've established over many years uh, really strong links with our primary schools, and the information passed on uh, is, is always used. So we, we will put them into, we'll look at their ability, we will look at existing friendship groups, and we'll look at the primary school they've attended, and we'll, we'll look at any requests that are made by parents uh, and primary schools, and we'll take all that into consideration, and then we'll put them into a form group which we think is most appropriate uh, for them. But certainly, um, they will be with one or two of their friends in their form group. Thank you, thanks very much. 
Okay, this is a, an SEN question, so I think Mrs Gibson, as line manager for SEN, this is one for yourself. My child has SEN needs. How do I contact the school to talk about the support that could be offered? Okay, right. Well, we have a very proactive and vibrant SEN department led by Mr Elder, I think, oh, and it's actually quite um, interesting because we will probably contact you before you contact us. Mr Elder takes a lot of pride and time to visit to primary schools until he is with the Year 6 teachers about any children that have specific SEN needs or any areas that they need to work on. And what he does, he takes that information and he uses it with his team of TAs to provide support in class. We have intervention strategies, we have help with exams, we have outside agency support. There's a whole raft of interventions and support, but what's most important is bespoke for each child. Every child is different and therefore every piece of intervention or support would be different. I think the most important thing is that Mr Elder takes time to make sure that he understands the child and the need and then puts support in place appropriately. Thank you, thanks very much. Uh, we've got a question about buses. Uh, I think Mr Sutcliffe, that's for you. Okay, so um, we have many pupils from lots of different areas coming to Longridge High School. Uh, we have dedicated bus services um, from outlying areas such as Chipping, Goosner, Ribchester, Grimsey, Longsands, as well as the number one bus which goes uh, along uh, the, the main artery into Preston and serves any pupils coming from the Preston area. Thank you. Well, we are always, um, and I, I think the Chair of Governors would agree with this, we're always happy if parents come from a different area and we haven't got a bus service on, we're always happy to talk to parents uh, about putting on additional services if there's a requirement. So we're always happy to talk to parents about that. We've had a question about food, uh, always popular, so I think we may do this between us, but I'll start off and please chip in. if you... So this is about food and what's, how would my child eat when they come to, to high school? Well, we do a complimentary service for the first couple of days for all of Year 7, so they get the, a chance to sample what food's like in high school. Um, some children bring packed lunches to school, that's absolutely fine. But the majority of children do have a school dinner and we have a wide selection uh, of foods available. Um, our school council is always very excited to talk about food um, and our school council is always giving us suggestions about what we can do to improve our food service. So we have got a fantastic catering manager and a great group of people who work in the kitchen. So, so we have, I'd say we've got a really good kitchen service. Um, if you decide that your son or daughter is going to join us, then again there will be details about how to actually pay for school dinners uh, on the school website. and. The information perhaps that will come out to you okay we've got a question about drama we might need to do this together so the question has come in saying have you restarted drama classes for years seven to nine um, well I'm a drama teacher and an English teacher and, and, and Mrs Gibson's an English teacher so we're very passionate about promoting drama uh, across the school so I would say and correct me if I'm wrong here that we do have within drama a drama specialist who writes schemes of work and in year seven to nine drama is incorporated into the four hours of English that we have every week it forms part of our curriculum there is a drama club as well for people who want uh, extra drama that runs after school um, and so, uh, we have school performances we have school shows uh, we have uh, performing arts shows once a term so we are very passionate about promoting drama and again we're always we're always uh, open to new ideas from young people through the school council okay are there any more questions from the back at all Okay, smashing, thank you. Well, thanks very much. If, if you have tuned in, thank you very much. If you're tuning in later, have a cup of tea, put your feet up and watch us again. Thank you to those people who've tuned in. Thank you very much for everybody who's taken part. If you have any more questions when you watch this, or you have any more questions in two or three days' time, will you please use the email address on the school website. Um, it's specifically for parents who've got questions uh, about the school, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want a phone call, we can give you a ring, just include your phone number. Okay. And once again, thank you very much for, for tuning in this evening. Um, we'll all say goodbye to you now. Um, and, and please, everybody, stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you in September, if not before. Thank you.